believe it or not, things are about to get a heck of a lot worse. And the one worry we did not have, which was oil, gas, is now about to be a problem. We'll get to that in one second. So it looks like, allegedly, Amazon employees may be getting ready to strike as well at the same time. I really, really wonder who's at the helm of these strikes, and if Amazon's second, who's going to be third? Don't forget, in 2020, Amazon almost took over everything. And word on the street is, people trying to bring supplies and help people in Asheville, Western NC, Tennessee, they're being turned away. I know a one personal helicopter owner who literally got threatened to get arrested. It became bad. I will say this is all alleged and I will have boots on the ground soon, so I will let you know. Not just that though, at truck stops, tires are literally being slashed. So who's doing all of this? Now we get to the oil. What you're seeing over here in the Middle East are people lining up to get oil because they believe the U.S. is going to attack their refineries. And if so, IRGC Media is warning the U.S. that if they do that, they will destroy all the oil refineries in the whole Middle East. They got plenty. They'll be good. We would be screwed. And apparently with Iran's retaliation, the Iron Dome did fail or they're not using it. They're claiming 99.9% .9 was intercepted. I have a video that's 15 minutes long and this is all it shows over and over again. Different places the whole time. And I believe the correct number was 400 missiles from Iran. And if you don't know, it's retaliation from Israel taking out all of Hezbollah's leaders. So where's the Iron Dome working? This is 14 minutes long of straight up rocket attacks all hitting their targets. So yeah, this is not good. It seems like the U.S. is going to be cut off from every single resource that we need here in the near future if something doesn't change quickly. Let me know your thoughts below.